What's going on guys? So we are out here at the 2024 Houston RV Show and we're gonna take a look at this really cool Geo Pro by Rockwood. They do a lot of really cool things with these RVs and I love this floor plan. You guys know I like huge RVs and I also like really small RVs, but I only like the small ones when they do them right. And this one, they've definitely done right. Let's take a closer look at it. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so I can't get around to the other side because it is literally crammed tight in there. There's some numbers I can show you over here in a second, but let's kind of look at what we see here. So first of all, it has this really cool Let's Go Aero bike rack up front. I filmed a video installing one of these on a buddy of mine's RV a long time ago, and he still uses it. It has not failed. He absolutely loves to take his bikes with him, and this is how he mounts it to the front of his RV. Has a power front tongue jack, a spot for two 20 pound propane cans, a spot for two batteries, and it has a really cool kind of a, I really don't know what you would call this type of stabilization system. It's kind of like your, your scissor jack, but it's kind of like your, I don't really know, a stab style, but you have a three quarter inch bolt here and it simply winds them down to the ground. I really like that. I actually would consider putting that on our surveyor as an upgrade video. That might be pretty cool. Anyways, it has those. This also has a unique characteristic that a lot of you probably know about already, and that's the fact that it rides on torsion axle, or a single torsion axle. I made it sound as if there was more than one because some of these Rockwoods actually have dual axles and they're both torsion axles. But this specific one is a single axle, has Westlake tires on it, I believe. Yep, Westlake tires are kind of those off-road inspired tires. A lot of people wonder why they're like that, but if it's sliding sideways, that will probably give you more traction than your standard radial road tire. You got some storage here in the back. I'm not gonna spend as much time outside because it is insanely loud out here. There's a lot going on. The show actually hasn't started yet, so I'm trying to get as much content before this place gets flooded full of people. LED lighting, hitch on the back, ladder to get on the roof, prep for a wireless backup camera frameless windows, which I may have already said, a lit up awning, which is a power awning as well. You have power out here. You have this rail that you can mount things like your cooktop and stuff to the side, outside of your furnace. Show price, $25,995 off of a $31,526 retail price. These units never have the discounts that you might normally see on larger units or other brands because they do a lot of things right with these Rockwoods. And it's important to know that not all units will have a huge delta between retail and show price. This is probably what you would pay anywhere for this type of floor plan at a sales price, or at least if you're paying sales price for it. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's hop inside. Love the Asdell sticker, nice composite walls. Basically, it helps eliminate the opportunities for delamination, things like that. And they have a lot of construction things that they like to focus on that make you feel as if at least you're getting something a little bit higher end. All right, stepping up. This isn't gonna be a super long tour because there's not a lot of length to this thing. So you have this really cool bed system that turns into a giant, almost king size bed. Once you slide these in the center, you put the brace here and the pillows slide flat. So you have a lot of sleeping accommodations here, but that doesn't take away from the fact that you still have a full kitchen. So you have a three burner cooktop in here. When do you see a three burner cooktop that large in a trailer this small? You never do, that's the answer to that. This is pretty much the same floor plan that my dad has, and I think this is new. I don't know if he has that in his, but this is a fully equipped travel trailer, and you know, if you have a smaller child, maybe that sleeps in between the parents, this would still work, but it's really designed as a couple's trailer. You have a full-size sink here as well, well, at least half of a full-size sink, I would say. The shower miser system as well, which is basically that water recirculation system, so you don't have to waste a bunch of water until it gets hot. You have your high point compact microwave here. Again, a lot of capability here. Plus you have this little shelf right here, which kind of adds to prep space if you're gonna be cooking. You have your TV already in place and it is a smart TV. Plus you have cabinetry all around. You have really nice windows with blackout blinds as well. So you can cover up and get a lot of privacy in here. Or if you just wanna sleep in so you don't have a lot of light flooding in. You have your Coleman mock air conditioning unit, plus extra storage here. And there's gonna be storage underneath these as well, which is awesome. Another window here, you have solar charge controller because you are gonna have solar on top of the roof. I think it's 200 watts. I'm not 100% certain, but I think it is. Your thermostat, then you're gonna have, I believe this is gonna be 12 volt. Yep, you have a 12 volt 
refrigerator freezer. You have more storage beneath it. And I always say a kitchen's not a kitchen unless you have a drawer. Now this isn't a drawer, but this is a drawer. I really wish the drawer was a little higher or maybe even turn this into drawers. Since you have cabinetry in the back all around, this would have been nice if it was drawers. And you have another drawer right there though, but no one wants to reach down that far for their silverware. So I think oh, some people may actually just keep it in there. And then you have a full wet bath. So I know you were gonna probably expect me to say full bath, but you have a plastic toilet and a shower and it's all inside of this space. Not super tall, so if you're, you know, over, I'm gonna say six feet tall, you're gonna probably struggle a little bit to take a shower in here. But for the size of RV this is, to have all of this here is actually kind of shocking. So to get something so small like this, minimalistic, and to still have a shower with a toilet and you know, a functional space, I think is pretty important, and this nails that. But what do you guys think? I really like these units because they do a lot. Now, of course, if you don't like this unit because of how small it is, because of the bathroom, they make larger units, and they make slightly larger units as well. They make bunkhouse versions. They make all sorts of different variations of this type of floor plan, so they have one for everyone. But my dad got this floor plan specifically to haul behind his Class B van that he sold now, so he could use it as a portable master bedroom with bathroom. They don't really use the kitchen, they never really used the kitchen, but they used this as basically a king size bed. And then they put upgraded mattresses in here. So it was essentially a rolling master suite, which was really, really cool and it functioned well for them. But let me know your opinion, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this and if this is something you could see yourself and your family living in. Anyways guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.